Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Faulkner and I work in sales and support role for a software company. And because of that, I use my computer all day, every day, and there's a lot of really tedious things that I do not like to do on my computer. To help speed that up, to avoid mistakes, I've learned to use a program called AutoHotKey. I want to take this opportunity to share with you my five favorite AutoHotKey scripts. Now, this is not going to be an introductory tutorial. This is just more of a show and tell that will hopefully spark your interest in the program. Um, I'm going to include a link to some really good tutorials and just show a little bit of the code. So anyway, let's dive into it, see what we can do with this awesome tool. So I've got the code over here on the left. Um, and if you're not a programmer, don't let this intimidate you. Auto hockey is really easy to dive into and you can get some really great results with just a few lines of code. So the first thing that I want to show you is something that I use all the time when I'm checking my emails. So over here on the right, I'm using Gmail. And as you can see, I've got a lot of unread emails here, but they might be kind of, you know, down in the box. So what I like to do in Gmail is use this is unread tag. And that quickly filters out anything that I've already read. Very handy, not an auto hockey thing, just Gmail. But getting that typed in, it's not difficult. It's not very long. You can do that quickly. But you know, I, I make a lot of typing mistakes, and I use this so frequently, I learned to automate it. So what this actually does, this first script here, whenever I push the Control Numpad 9 button on my keyboard. All it does is it sends the forward slash key, which in Gmail, when you press forward slash, it jumps to the search bar. It then waits for 75 milliseconds just to make sure it gets up in there. And then it types in is unread and presses the enter key. So I do that so frequently, all I have to do, one button jumps up there, filters out to only show me my unread emails. Use it all day, very, very handy, love doing that. So let's take a look at my second favorite script. So in my sales support role, I do a lot of online meetings with customers and I typically use Google Meet for that. Now, a quick way that you can start up a new Google meeting is to just go to meet.new in your web browser. So I can go here, type in meet.new, go through there, oh, and you can see, made a mistake right there. All the more reason to use this tool. When you go to meet.new, it automatically creates that link. But you also have to press, you know, copy the joining info. So it's not hard, but there's a really good way that you can automate this. So what this next script does, whenever I press control numpad eight, it opens up a new Chrome tab to that meet.new URL. It waits for three seconds to make sure it loads up. It then presses Control L to jump to the search bar, the URL bar of the browser, waits just a bit, and then presses Control C to copy it to the clipboard. So in practice, what that actually looks like, opens it up, didn't have to type anything, jumps to the URL, Control C to copy it. So if I am on the phone with somebody, I can very quickly just paste that into an email. And I know it's got it every single time. Very, very handy. So the next few scripts that I'm going to show, I'm not really going to dive into the code because these get a little more complicated, but I just want to show you some of what's possible with this program. So the next thing we're going to take a look at here is automating my quotes. So do sales, got to send quotes to people all the time. Here I've got one for John. I'm sending him a quote for the best thing ever for a dollar. This thing's ready to go. I just need to put it in an email and send it to him. So I don't like to send Excel quotes. I like to just print this out to a PDF and then I need to just get it into an email. I've got a couple of buttons in this Excel sheet um, that will help me do that a little quicker. This first button to print a PDF, this is actually not an auto hockey thing. That's just a VBA script in Excel. Um, if you wanna hear more on that, just let me know. But I push this button and it saves this current Excel sheet out to a PDF in the same location where that Excel sheet was saved. Cool. But to put that into an email, I usually have to dig down into my files, find that PDF to attach it. 
a little quicker way to do this. When I push this button, this does trigger an auto hockey script. And all it does is it takes this current Excel sheet, looks in that same location with a file by the same name, but as a PDF. And if it's there, copies it to my clipboard. So I can go back to my emails here and just directly in the email, control V and it attaches that PDF. Easy, no digging down through the folders, really simple to do. So, all right, the next thing, uh, let's take a look at a tool that I use all the time for quicker tech support. So I often have to help people use a program and there's a lot of different commands in this program. So, you can, so we've got all of these pull down menus and there's a lot of things that you can pick from. So if somebody's asking me, hey, how do I do this specific thing in your program? I usually just tell them, well, the command you're looking for, it's on that edit pull down menu and it's under the erase submenu and it's the erase by closed polyline command. Showing somebody where that's at, I could just send them a picture, that's great, but sometimes it's you know easier just to have a list, you know, go to this command, this command, this command. Having a list is a little better to navigate there. But rather than having to type out menu, submenu command, I made a tool, an auto hotkey, to make that easier for me. So what I do here is when I'm typing out my email, I will press my hotkey and it opens up this little interface here. Now setting this up was much more involved, but I've actually matched all of the menus, all the submenus, all the commands in the program, put them into this interface. When I need to tell somebody, okay, it's on the edit pull down menu, it's under erase, and it's on erase by closed polyline, I just go to wherever I want to type that, open up this menu, click OK, and it types it out for me. No misspelling, no trying to remember yeah, which menu is it on because I can dig down through in the interface. It's a very, very handy tool. Now that's very niche for my job but I think anybody could use something similar to that for a lot of different purposes. It's a really cool thing. All right, let's take a look at the fifth final favorite auto hockey script that I have. So I use a tool called Whisper to transcribe audio files, whether it's a voicemail or maybe just a long video recording. I just want to have a transcript of it. Um, Whisper is actually made by the same people that do ChatGPT. It's not really an auto hotkey thing, but I use auto hotkey to drive Whisper. The thing that I do not like about Whisper is that it's heavily dependent on using command prompt, which I think your average computer user either has never touched or probably isn't very sharp on it. So rather than have to go through some difficult command prompt syntax, trying to remember, you know, how did I do that one thing? I built another interface in auto hotkey. So when I push a button here, bring up this menu, and this allows me to select the file that I want to transcribe. So this can either be an audio recording or a video, doesn't really matter the length. Just open that up. I can pick the output format that I want to use. I'm just going to kick this one out to a standard text file, and then I can pick the model type. Uh, if you have a beefier computer, you could use a larger model, not so strong of a computer, use a smaller one. I'm just going to use this base model. But when I click OK here, this is actually going to open up a command prompt window. Now, it's mostly silent until it really starts to kick off. It takes a moment, especially with my computer. It's not the strongest. Um, but once this thing runs, you're going to really quickly see the text from that audio just kind of start pop in there line by line. This is a fairly short audio file. OK, right there you can see it went. Showed me that what was in that file. Then opens up a folder to where the output transcript was made. I can double click on that and I can see, okay, this is a voicemail from Joey and that's the phone number that he left. And now I've got a nice transcript of what he said. Really useful tool. Auto hotkey allows me to use Whisper when I probably wouldn't use it if it wasn't for this little interface, just because it's a lot of steps. It's a little more trouble than what it's worth sometimes. But Really like using that tool. As you can tell, there's a lot of advantages for that. So those are my five favorite auto hockey scripts. Again, check out the link in the description for some good tutorials. 
I'm also going to weave a link to my example scripts here. Um, so if you want to dive into using this tool, please feel free to check it out. If you got any other questions, get in touch. Thanks. Have a great day.